What's up, you guys? Sean Ross at Managing Editor of Fightful.com and FightfulWrestling.com here for another news update. This one uh, unfolded yesterday, but I've been getting uh, responses from people who work across the companies uh, all through yesterday and today. Jeremy Borash made the move from uh, Impact Wrestling to WWE. He's been with Impact since virtually the beginning. I mean, the guy has been everywhere but WWE pretty much. He was in WCW at the very end. He was in WWA, if you remember the Australian promotion uh, that was that existed briefly uh, between, I think, WCW and TNA. And uh, he spent the last 15, 16 years with TNA. However, he is making a move to WWE, uh, specifically NXT, it would appear. Uh, here's the story as it appears on Fightful.com. We have some exclusive info here. I've talked to people from Impact, NXT, and WWE about the about the move, about the situation. And there are a lot of people optimistic in WWE and NXT. I mean, you're looking at a roster that he has already worked with on the main roster. AJ Styles, Bobby Roode, The Hardys, R-Truth, Samoa Joe, Goldust, TJP, Kendrick, Mickey James, Drake Maverick, Kurt Angle, uh, the Canellis is uh, Xavier Woods. He's worked with all these people before. He's been in TNA for so long that by the time he signed with WWE, he had already worked with a significant number of these people. And it looks like he'll be heading to NXT where EC3, Drew McIntyre, Zelina, Roderick Strong, they all are. And then there's just a plethora of people on that roster who also came in for one night only tapings like Tommaso Ciampa did that as well. So he's going to be familiar with a lot of these names. He was really integral in the Hardy's broken angle that, that took off in popularity in 2016. And I know that they had pushed for him to get in the company last year. And finally uh, they triple H made it happen. Triple H uh, brought in several names that were pushed for, including EC three but on the impact side of things, it's not looking so hot. They, uh, there were a lot of people, even new names that weren't as familiar with him, that were surprised that he left after this amount of time because he's been there through thick and thin. And one of the things that was put over about Jeremy Borash so much was his ability to work within a budget and still produce high-quality content. You saw this a lot with the broken angle when it first started. That was not that expensive for them to produce, and it – just did great numbers and great buzz for them. They don't have that anymore. And obviously they're working on a heavy budget. So they have to find somebody to slide in there and do that. Not just that, he was calling matches for them. And when he wasn't doing that, he was ring announcing for them. And when he wasn't doing that, he was helping pitch digital ideas and a lot of things like that for them. So there are a lot of uh, people that work on the production side in NXT, at least those who know who he is, that are also very excited to work with him. Like it, it's not often when you will ask about a situation like this and from both sides, WWE side and impact side, when somebody leaves or, or comes over and might be taking somebody else's spot that you hear nothing but positive reactions in regards to that person. And I, had, I just had person after person putting over Jeremy Borash to me. I had them talking about how versatile he is and how he's able to do a little bit of everything and how he slides in and out of each role uh, so that's that's a very good get for WWE, and they have really picked Impact clean. Uh, once they they sign Chelsea Green, which personally I expect this year, I was told by those within WWE that they would be shocked if she wasn't signed in 2018. They'll really have taken almost everybody over the last year that they that they would need or want or anything like that. You could you could argue maybe an Eli Drake would would fit their profile as well. And he has been under contract to WWE before, but Jeremy Borash heading to WWE. Of course, guys, we have all this news. I'm going to have this story also running in tomorrow's Fightful Wrestling Weekly. Uh, I know that some of you will miss our exclusives from time to time. I do a Fightful Wrestling Weekly on Fridays where I drop about a thousand words worth of exclusives. Some that have ran on the site and some that I uh, give a little more information to that wouldn't necessarily fit into an article. But definitely uh, check that out, guys. Lots going on at Fightful.com, my friends. Until next time, we are out.